So hello and welcome again to Edison Light Globe's video. Um, today, what we might uh, do is we might explain how it is we retrofit some of these uh, old ship lights. Now, these old lights, they come off uh, ships. They're hung in um, areas, you know, uh, loading bays and uh, areas where they store things inside the ship. They are waterproof, they're made of brass. They have a, uh, a smash-proof cage on the bottom. Uh, they're obviously they're glass sealed. Um, they're usually painted a hideous color, like a boat green. But these have been stripped um, in the shipwrecking uh, yards and polished uh, and to some degree uh, repaired. Now what we do, we normally, what we're trying to do is fit a really nice um, brass lamp holder in a, inside here so that it'll be uh, able to be used with regular globes all sorts of things that uh, you would normally have at hand. Not specialised E40 commercial gloves, which is what it's fit, fitted with originally. So the first thing we do is we remove these screws, which, are, which I've already done, and remove what is the cap component. Uh, now I'll put this aside. I don't need my gloves at the moment. Um, what it has inside here is a little bit of a a device that holds the lamp holder. Now I've mixed it all up, here we go. So what, what I first need to do is just attach the um, all thread that's going to hold the lamp holder and attach that into the, the part that bolts into the top, or well, here, into the top here. So this bolts inside. So I want the lamp holder to be mounted to that. Now I just need a little screwdriver I'll just lock that on so it now can't come undone. And that, that stops you from getting it undone if you're undoing the, or taking the bulb out, something like that. Now, this will take forever. This is basically just a little shroud thing in there that holds, it gives us a way to put the lamp holder cover at a particular uh, distance. So what we have here is the, uh, there's a little lamp, lamp holder shroud. See that's noisy, isn't it? Um, now all this does is sit up in here and it just protects what was the original lamp holder. Um, connects, it protects from heat, that's all. But we're not creating a lot of heat, so we don't need it, but we'll put it on anyway. Now this will need, need to be uh, fixed in place. So we'll just put a little washer and a screw on there. Now, I'm hoping this isn't too long, this component. This, this all thread, I might, it might be all right. If it's too long, we won't fit the globe in that I want to fit because I've got a very large globe to put inside this, but uh, it may be a bit long. Uh, anyway, the idea is then to secure the top of the lamp holder to that um, all thread. And if, I think I'll show it to you there. I'll sh you can see that inside there. I'm just going to thread that on. Um, and we'll need to just secure the little grub screw in there which just locks it on so that it can't twist. Now we, what we can do, we can actually test to see if the, the globe that we want will fit. You can see that's quite long. So what we can do is oops, I'll put that on now. Undo this. going to roll off the bench, I know. Just need to undo all the wing nuts. Now, we are going to try to fit our specialised this um, globe. This is the globe that we had made um, because it approximated uh, in shape and size the original metal halide globes that would have been in these lights. Now, it's not essential to have this type of globe, even though I think this is what, 10 watts, 11 watts, something like that. Um, it's reasonably bright and that's probably a good thing because it's a brass reflector. So it does need a little bit of light. But you'll see, we're trying to get end up with the face of this, what is it, um, flush there. 
So you can see it's pretty close, but we're going to screw that in, and I reckon that's too long. I'm going to fit that in there. We'll see. We're about how much too long? Probably about an inch too long. So, in order to get this globe to fit, we are going to have to shorten the all thread that we screwed in, which is uh, no big deal. But uh, what I might do is hand that off to young Louis. You should better cut that off, yeah? Yeah. Oops. I'll take that off again. Okay. Okay, so uh, we've now shortened this uh, lamp holder um, all thread. So it's only really, really short, and that will give us a nice tight fit that'll go all the way up onto the uh, oops end. Put our shroud back on. I'll do it back up. I think you can see that. I'll do up the rub screw. There you go. Now, let's do it without wrecking everything. Oops. I'll do another test. Just to see if it'll fit. I think it'll fit. If not, we'll have to take all this other gizzards out. So normally if you order one of these large globes, we will make sure that the, the lamp holder position suits the big globe. If you order with a, a smaller regular size globe, we'll probably leave the longer all thread on so that the globe comes further out of the, the base. Now that fits back in there. You'll see, if you can see in there. Now I'm thinking that that will now close. Yeah, it's just on, probably just, just tight. So what we need to do, I'll we'll take that globe out. So we don't break it. I'll put it back in its box. Um, now we need to first take that off. So now we've got the lamp holder base and the cap to go in here. And we need to line up. Oh, there's bits everywhere. I need to line this up. And for that, I need my glasses. So we're just lining up the holes. You reckon you can see that? Oh, we're going to drop that. There you go. So that lines up the holes there. And I think. We line up here. So I should be able to put these brass nuts all the way through into that bottom part. This is impossible with. It. Possible to line up. No. It keeps moving. You'll have to help me, Louis. Yeah, I'll hold it. You put that one in. You're in the way of the camera. <laughs> okay, in. There you go. Once you get one, the rest will go in there. <laughs> reckon, <coughs> I reckon the last one will go in. <clears throat> but it doesn't want to. I'm just going to twist that around. There you go. Do it up with your socket. Now, I wouldn't normally do it this way, 
but I am trying to wire this up so we can plug it in to show you the globe. Anyway, that seems fairly reasonable. Now I want to get a wire through there. I don't think I'm going to get it all the way through to be honest. No, I'm not going to. Ugh. So what we might have to do is wire that up a bit differently. Hello. Can you help me do this? Now, just need to get that correct. Now we've got the wire in. Hold that. Hold that. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Just put that one in first. No, no, no. That's right around here. That's going to look silly with you there. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Now, Louis help me uh, line these up. So now what we're going to do is tighten these up again. Take that out. Maybe we'll just do that a little quicker. We'll speed through that bit. It's a bit boring. It's just alignment. So, not too tight. Brass threads. Not too bad. So now we have a cable. We have. Oops. What's that? We have a, a lamp holder inside. Can you see that? Yeah. So, very carefully. We're going to put the globe in because we're going to close up the lid and you do need to have the globe out. And now we've got the posty here. This is impossible. Let's just keep going. I want to see if this works. Yep. So we managed to fit the globe in uh, without hitting the glass. We'll now do up the screws. Pick out. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's one. Oh yeah. There we go. So screw those all up. They all become watertight, or at least dust tight. Um, and we would normally clean all the glass when we get a chance. So. The next thing we've got to look at is uh, how we're we going to do the chain. So these came with a little, uh, what do you call that, a figure eight, which you could remove. You could use uh, an S hook, which we supply, that would go in there. It's a little bit more, it's a little bit smaller. Um, so the difficulty is there's brass and then aluminium. So to match colour, it's hard to know whether to match the aluminium or the brass. Either way it doesn't matter, you can use either. In this case what we might do is use the brass part and we use a, a brass shackle. This is a nice brass shackle which we have custom made. So we just undo the shackle, attach the chain and then reattach the shackle. Now, a lot of people ask, why do we need chain? Why have we got chain? Now, the reason we have chain is because this cable comes out of here. It's not secured in any way. It, it will just pull out of the lamp holder really easy. So we need to take the weight of the device with a chain. Now we've got brass chain and brass components, which look okay with the brass here. We do have gal chain. You could use gal chain. But in this case, we're using brass chain. Now what we need, Louis, is to be able to plug it in. So there needs to be an extension lead, probably somewhere here that I had last week that I forgot about. Um, I want to turn it on and show you what the globe looks like because it is a um, 
specific oops industrial size which you can't really see until it's on um, whilst Lou is wandering around he's got, he's got it there we go there we go we've got the uh, plug socket so this is 240 volts mains retrofit oops turn that on and there we go Ooh. so there we have um, a retrofitted uh, what can I do it there? A retrofitted uh, ship light uh, and fitted with a special uh, oversized, it's a C110 LED uh, globe, 240 volts, and it's fairly bright. If I point it into the camera, you'll see it reflects like a beam. Um, so it will, if you look down here, it will show, throw a little bit of light, and that probably is just about enough. You don't want it to be a heat lamp or a spotlight. We really just need it as a decorative feature. So this will need a, um, obviously a chain hook uh, type ceiling rose to take a bit of weight, which we probably have kicking around the place. Not easily fandable. It's in the case. But you could use a brass chain hook. You could use, there we go, we've got a nice decorative brass hook. So I'm hoping they go on the chain. Sometimes the chains don't work, there you go. So that would screw to the ceiling. The cable would go up inside the uh, chain and that would hold the weight. Simple. Okay. Now obviously when we ship these out we would uh, use a bit of Brasso, clean up the outside, clean the glass, check that your globe selection fits and then take the globe out and pack the globe separately. Uh, you don't want to leave globes in these when you ship. So bear this one in mind it's a fantastic light then they're, they're not overly expensive uh, we've got heaps of these in stock uh, I think we've got two different qualities one that's a bit over polished and one like this which is just spun polished just nicely some of them are a bit banged around and they're a little bit cheaper again and some don't have a cage and cheaper again so we have a range of options with this size of um, light fitting and these could go in a kitchen they could go in a you know a restaurant a bar or whatever but essentially it's a, a focused beam so it won't throw light all around the room um, we have seen them used in um, kitchens dining rooms where you have a big lofty space where you've got a bit of room that you need to fill in the air so these are fantastic beautiful color really old a little bit grungy a perfect industrial fitting so I think that's it for now um, we'll try and edit that together uh, thanks for watching um, if you like the video subscribe if you want to if you want to hear better audio next week I might get a radio mic so I don't have a phone in my pocket while I'm recording it but we gave it a crack so thanks again we'll see you next time subscribe if you like it send it to your friends I hope we get to another ship light next couple of weeks and we'll show you how we do those cheers for now